Samir Abdusabur is a rarity, a woman of color in a white lab coat, working towards a degree in chemistry. How rare? One in 10 scientists and engineers, just one tenth are minority women. African American students make up only 5% of 5% of STEM college majors. Did you think at some point that you were gonna be some kind of role model? Not at all, of course not. I don't think anyone like really just grows up thinking that they're gonna be a role model, but I, I just, I do what I can. I have younger siblings who look up to me, so I do what I can. Getting more kids of color to major in STEM, that's science, technology, engineering, and math subjects, is the goal of a $3 million predominantly black institution's competitive grant announced today by the state's two U.S. senators at Bloomfield College, where STEM subjects are part of a college-wide push. They certainly are. Uh, the college is a blend of both traditional liberal arts and the pre-professional programs, and science is the largest of them. Science, to me, is really the future, and it is so important not only for public health, for the nursing aspect of what we do at the college, which is substantial, but for people who want to go into research and make the new discoveries that will alleviate suffering in the future. The 2000 student college, whose enrollment is 75% minority, will receive $600,000 a year for the next five years. President Laveau says it's a game changer that will create an opportunity for students to get an early focus on STEM subjects, critical for developing future scientists and engineers. And it starts in the youngest age we think we can successfully reach junior high school students by bringing them here for summer STEM programs. Then in the high school, it brings students here for early college. Then when freshmen start here, it's going to pay for embedded tutors. The old model used to be have students go to remediation courses, but the newer model and one that Bloomfield College has adopted is to have students start in college level courses with embedded tutors. This will help pay for the tutors sitting in the classroom helping students in first year biology. No more can you expect to get a bachelor's degree and just get a job and do the same thing for the rest of your life. That's because the world is changing so quickly that that phone that you have today that you're tweeting on will be outdated by next month. And being an agent of technological change is an opportunity to which all students, regardless of their background, should be able to aspire. In Bloomfield, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.